Under a purple sky held in a nice day, the morning mist sticks to the pastures of Ranch San Miguel in the department of Beni in Bolivia. Here, the fragmented forests are home to an endemic species of small-bodied monkeys belonging to the genus Calicebus. Accompanied of his two field assistants, biologist Jesus Martinez from the Wildlife Conservation Society knew how to make contact with the little primates he had studied for several years. Once inside the forest, remaining quiet was rule number one. The physical presence of the animals was soon revealed by several bursts of foliage rustles. Here they are. For about a week, we stayed in touch with group Maramacho, which consists of one adult pair, a subadult, and one infant. Together, group Maramacho holds a territory of about 20 acres. Here is subadult Macario. And this is Timoteo, the adult male, enjoying fresh leaves. Not far away, the infant forages in a more acrobatic fashion. Fruits of all sorts are an important component of Calisebus diet. Cecropias are omnipresent in Bolivia and titi monkeys visit those trees regularly for their sweet fruits. Here is Macario taking a good bite. Later, we spotted Macario foraging in a bunch of trees belonging to the Myrtaceae family. The small bays lined up along the defoliated branches make up for an easy catch. Timoteo just found a crunchy legume. Takes a bite and carries it away. Time to move elsewhere. Macario has spotted something interesting down below. It's quite unusual for titi monkeys to venture on the first floor, but this find was too tempting. Finally, he's got it. It's a ripe motaku fruit. Back up in the palms, Macario peels the skin away using both hands and teeth. And finally, he can enjoy the flesh. Timoteo is obviously interested in getting a share, but Macario ignores him.
Beside leaves and fruits, Calisibus eats lots of flowers too. Timoteo is quite choosy when looking for flowers. Unlike Timoteo, the infant grabs everything within reach. In a squatting posture, Macario forages on one of his favorite flowers, consuming the inside and discarding the petals. Aware of our presence, Calisibus utters loud alarm calls or cheer ups. These calls are contagious within the group and can inform other distant groups on the existence of a potential danger. On one occasion, we witnessed Karina doing her thing, which elicited some interest from Timoteo. In a situation of mild disturbance, Calisebus produces soft high-pitched calls which also serve to maintain contact between group members.
From late morning to mid-afternoon, at the height of the heat, the level of activity of Calisibus drops down. Calisabus is one of few pair-bonded primates in South America. All of a sudden, Karina solicits grooming from Timoteo. And it's now Karina's turn to groom Timoteo. Being aware of the whereabouts of group members and of the neighboring groups is at the top of the list of Calisabus' agenda. And here, is about to begin the most impressive display of Calisabus, a coordinated male-female vocal performance known as duetting. <laughs> The duet is a bit unsynchronized at first, but soon reaches a climax during which the two partners take turns as vocal leaders. Every day, shortly after the sun rises above the forest, the powerful song duets of Calisabus Modestus start resonating across the pampas of Beni and will continue to be heard only if we take care of these endangered animals and their fragile environment.